What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and now in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a simple shooter game. Right now, I'll put a preview on screen of what we will be making today. As you can see, it's a simple shooter game that you can add on to and publish. So for example, I'm going to get you started with a base, and then you can just keep on adding on to it until it's a fully fledged game. But if you actually want to see a game series, let me know with a comment down below. If I get enough comments, I might make a series out of this. Anyway, let's start coding. First thing you want to do is make a new sprite and delete the scratch cap. Call the sprite player. Then go to your square tool. Make the fill whatever you color you want. I'm just going to make it red. Zoom in. And if you hold shift, you can actually make a perfect square. So this will be the player sprite. I would say get it to about this size. And you can bump up the outline if you want to. I say I like that. Alright guys, first thing you want to do is go to variables. We are going to make three variables. Make sure they are all selected for all sprites. First variable is going to be called ammo. The next variable is going to be called lives. And the final variable is called killed or how many zombies you've killed or whatever. So for the player, the code is one green flag clicked, motion, go to x, zero, y, zero, put that in there. Go to variables, set ammo to 16, put that on there. Point in direction, that's in motion, 90. Next script to code is one green flag clicked, forever if, make sure to grab that, and grab three other if blocks, because this will be the movement. Sensing key, you can either do arrow keys or WASD. I'm going to do WASD, so I'm going to drag four key blank press. I'm going to change the first one to W all the way at the bottom here. Next one to A. Next one to S. Final one to D. And I'm just gonna drag these in here. Once you have done all that, go to motion, go to change Y by, make sure this is three, put that in W for the A key, change X by, change this to negative three, put that in if key A pressed. If key S pressed, make sure to grab a change Y by and set this to negative three and finally for if key d pressed make sure to grab a change x by and change this to three and put that in there so if we hit the green flag and we test our project as you can see everything's working properly but we need to make it so that you can look around so if you go to point towards mouse pointer and put this at the top of the forever loop as you can see now the character is always pointing towards our mouse pointer next thing we are going to do is make our bullet make a new sprite change the fill to a yellow f for a bullet and you might want to change the brightness and contrast and mess with all these things until you've got a good looking bullet. Once you have your color selected all you have to do is draw like a rectangle and you can zoom in to fine tune it and make sure it's on like I said I always drag this to the center and it'll lock on just like that. If there's not enough outline for you or if it's too big as you can see compared to my character I can just decrease the size of it and see how this looks. So compared to my character, I think this is a pretty good size. You can also call the sprite bullet. For the code, first thing you want to do is go to one green flag clicked, looks, hide, go to back layer, then grab a forever loop. And first thing you want to put in there is motion point towards mouse pointer and go to, change this to player. Next thing you want to do is go to if put this right here sensing mouse down then variables change ammo by negative one then you want to go into control wait until go to operators not go into sensing mouse down next thing you want to do is go into control grab another if then loop and put this under the other if then loop Go to operators, grab an or block, equals block, and this block. Next, you want to change these values to zero. And then you want to go to variables and drag the ammo into the left side of these blocks. Then finally, just drag this into the if then loop. Now you want to go into control, wait one second, and put variables set ammo to 16. What the script is telling the bullet is that there's 16 ammo and after you click 16 times you're out of ammo. So it's going to wait one second to reload the gun and then it's going to refill it and you can shoot 16 more times. Now let's make it so you can go to events, 
when you have left clicked, grab a forever if block, put that in there. Then you want to grab a if then else block and put it inside the if then block. And you want to go to setting if mouse down, put this in the first if then block. And then what you want to do is you want to right click on this if ammo equals zero and press duplicate. And then you can just put this in the if then else block. Next thing you want to do is go to control create clone of myself in the else portion and then you want to go to wait until put this under the create clone of myself go to operators put not sensing mouse down what this script is telling the bullet to do if there's zero ammo or below zero ammo it will do nothing but if there's not zero ammo or below zero ammo it will create clone of myself and wait until you stop clicking again to make another clone to code the clone, first thing you want to do is go into control, when I start as clone, looks, show, then grab a forever loop, and go to repeat until, put this in the forever loop, go into sensing, touching, and change this to edge. Next thing you want to do is go to motion, move 10 steps, and put under the repeat until block is delete this clone. So now if we test it, if we shoot, as you can see, it hits the edge and it deletes. So as you can see, if we just keep on clicking until our ammo runs out, we can't shoot while our ammo's at zero, and our gun reloads and we can shoot again. Next thing we are gonna code is the zombies. For the zombie, all you have to do is duplicate the player, call it zombie, then delete the scripts inside the zombie, go to costumes, click on the costume, and change the fill to like a dark green, indicating that it's a zombie. I like that, I think it looks pretty zombie-like, so let's get started with the coding. First script you're going to do is go to events, one green flag clicked, looks, hide, then go to variables, set, changes to lives, to three, drag that on there, and then go to show variable, changes to lives, and put that under there, and then go to set, changes to killed, to zero. Finally, put control, forever loop, go to wait operators pick random changes to two to five seconds and then put under that create clone of myself and finally drag it in the forever loop if you want more zombies just make the wait in between the clones a lot shorter so this zombie will spawn on the bottom and will come up to get you we will make another zombie that spawns from the top and comes down to get you but first let's make the zombie that comes from the bottom so when i start as a clone motion go to x Go to operators, pick random, change this to negative 210, 2, 210, and make the Y negative 170. Once you're done with that, drag it on when I start as a clone, looks, show, go to control forever, go to if, and then go to sensing, touching, changes to bullet. Variables, change, changes to killed by one. Go to control, delete this clone. Then under that if loop, go to motion, point towards, change this to player. Drag that under there. Motion, move two steps and put that right there. Then grab another if then loop block and put that under that. And go to if touching, changes to player then go to variables change change us to lives by negative one go to control delete this clone if you give your game a quick dust by hitting the green flag as we just wait for the zombie to spawn as you can see it comes to us no matter where we go and if you don't like this speed or if you want it to be faster or slower just change the move blank steps as you can see if it hits us we, we lose a life and as you can see if we shoot it it dies as you can see, our kill variable is also working when I kill a zombie. Next thing you want to do is duplicate the zombie and change the Y value to 170. Now if you start the project, you will have zombies coming from the top and the bottom. As you can see, there's one from the top, there's one from the bottom. But we have a slight problem. As you can see, if the zombies get you down to zero lives, you don't die. So now let's make a game over screen. For this, all you need to do is make a new sprite, go to bitmap mode, go to paint bucket, change it to a white background, go back into vector, grab the text tool, change the fill to red, 
and put in game over in big caps. Now you can correctly size this and make sure it's locked onto the middle. Then you wanna go to code and you wanna drag out a message. Call this game over. When I receive game over motion, go to X zero Y zero, drag that in there. Looks, go to front layer, show, and then you want to go to control, stop all. And finally, one green flag clicked, hide. Now to make this work, we have to go back into the player sprite, and we have to go to control, and grab another if then loop and put this on the bottom. So first thing you want to do is go into operators, grab an or block, then you want to grab this block, and then you want to grab a equals block, and then you want to change both of these values to zero. And then you want to go to variables, live, and put that in there. And then you want to go to events, broadcast, game over, and then variables, hide variable, changes to lives. So let's give our game a quick test. And there's one more thing we need to do. So if you go to bullet, go into control, when I start as a clone, grab a if then block, and make sure you put a forever loop around there. Go to operators, grab a or block, go into sensing, if touching changes to zombie, if touching changes to zombie 2, go into control, wait, 0 0.08 seconds, and then you want to go to delete this clone. So basically, this means that if a bullet hits a zombie, it won't go straight through the zombie. So let's test this out. As you can see, if the bullet hits a zombie, the bullet goes away. Now let's test our game over screen. So if I lose on my lives here, it says game over. And if I just click the green flag again, then I can play. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. If you want to see a series, make sure to let me know with a comment down below. Anyway guys, thank you for watching.